She heard the word and she kept it to the very end. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, after Jesus had effectively silenced his opponents and their ridiculous accusations, a woman from the crowd shouted out or cried out, Happy the womb that bore you and the breast you sucked. It was a beautiful tribute first to Jesus and then to his mother. In more contemporary terms, we might rephrase it as, May God bless the woman that produces such a son as you. But Jesus turns the woman's words around and responds. Still happier are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Greatness in God's eyes lies not in gifts and privileges or because of their kith and kin, but being granted in the response that is given to God. The true source of Mary's greatness or blessing was not in her being chosen to be the mother of Jesus, nor even in her preservation from original sin, but in that unconditional yes she gave to the angel at the Annunciation, a yes she faithfully honored to the day she stood in great sadness at the foot of the cross. She heard the word and she kept it to the very end. True blessedness does not come from sitting through church services and Sunday school lessons, but from hearing and keeping the word of God. If what you hear doesn't impact your life, then it is meaningless because blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The real blessing doesn't have to do with physical ties to Jesus. No, the real blessing is given to those who put the word of God into practice. He has spoken that word to them and to us. You and I are blessed, my dear brothers and sisters, not just because we heard the word of God, but we are even more blessed when the word of God grows within us, is born from us, transform us, even when we don't understand it, and even when we don't understand some of the suffering that would come with it. We are blessed when we say, yes, God, I will listen to you. I will live as you ask. I will have faith in you. Mary listened to the word which was made fresh within her. She carried God within her and her life was transformed. Amen. <laughs>